Hey guys, it's me Cruel back again with another reaction video on this channel and today I will be reacting to 281 again. This time we have the It Hurts music video. This is a Patreon sponsored video and reaction video from Caleb Dorman on my Patreon, as per usual of course. <laughs> so thank you so much for the request and um, I hope you enjoyed this video. It's for you of course and thank you so much again for the request. If you guys want to request um, specific songs that I definitely will react to once a month then you can check out my Patreon, link is in the description below. I also react to a lot of stuff on my Patreon itself, I have more polls, all that stuff. Um, the stuff that I react to is basically live stages, album reviews, um, TV shows like Road to Kingdom, Good Girl Island, Anime, K-Drama and more in the future. So check it out if you're interested, link is in the description. I also have a Discord where you can talk with me and the community. You can also be notified of new uploads on YouTube and Patreon, so yeah, make sure to join that as well, it's really really helpful. and. It would be cool to see you around on there. Link is also in the description. Uh, one last thing before we start, quick shout out to my patrons, of course. Special shout out to Kel Doman here, as per usual. And of course for this video, because it's your sponsored request. And in general, thank you so much to all of you for the continued support in October. And to the new people that already joined in October. Thanks so much. Let's get started with It Hurts. I um, Just to make sure I don't fuck it up, I have a member overview. Um, I should be quite good with the members by now and it's quite easy to see because Dara has like insane hair here, Bomb has blue greenish hair and then CL is CL with the pony and we have Minzy also with a pony and like short hair so it's pretty easy to see but still I will leave it on the second screen to make sure. Let's get started. Maybe I should add that this uh, was actually planned to be reacted to on Retro Friday, which um, is a series of mine where I react to songs that are from before 2014. And this song is well, from 2010, I believe. Maybe it's e even earlier, I don't know. But it's definitely old. Um, so I was anyway gonna react to this um, quite soonish. But since this is a sponsored request, I now do it. On a regular upload not on retro friday although funnily enough this is actually uploaded on a friday but yeah anyways let's go cl as per usual setting it off can we talk about the hair for a second holy shit what is that she's like of course the pony and on top of that like insane clothing but Almost reminds me of that lady in uh, 101 uh, Dalmatinos. Is that the, the actual name in, in English? I don't know, but it's it's a rough translation from German. Sorry if it's wrong. But her hair in general is like so high. Like, what is that? Is that even her real hair? <laughs> it looks not like her real hair because it's so much. Maybe it is, I don't know. Oh, it's even, it's, it's even braided up there. Crazy. Her nails! Oh my god, she has like. 15 centimeter long black nails. Oh shit. Oh, in general, the scene really reminds me of something like um, Disney movies, you know? Like this, this, like this witch hut or something where she's sitting on. Oh my god, her nails. Dara! We don't have subtitles for this, by the way, so I don't know what they're talking about, which is a bit sad. She's doing so much hair through. Oh my god, Minji! Minji! Oh, Minji! Doesn't really matter, right? But Minji! When, whenever I feel like really obligated to, to fanboy about her, I will call her Minji, just to let you know. Um, her stage name is Minji, her real name Minji, so I will resort to her real name if I'm like really. Um, Positively surprised and shocked and just fanboying over her, you know Same as like when when CL is doing something crazy, I would probably say Chirin or something like that, you know Is this Dara singing now? No, it's still Minji Oh, dude! Ah, oh, there's Dara The bomb looks so nice here. Oh my god. She's I can almost not see that this is bomb honestly. Holy shit, she looks so different. 
but wow. Uh, is this a wig? I, it looks like a wig, but yeah, it looks good on her. Uh, what I want to say before we go on with Bomb's verse here, or lines, I want to quickly talk about Dara. I have not talked about her much in my 21 reactions yet, because I always felt very overwhelmed by all of the stuff that the other three did. And I recently reacted to uh, a few 21 live stages on my Patreon, if you're interested to see that, of course, link is in the description to my Patreon. But it was part of the New Evolution concert, I think it was two songs. Um, the second was In The Club, and I specifically remember In The Club because of Dara. Uh, because she actually killed that stage so hard that was like my first like real shocking moment and like oh my god Dara is freaking amazing you know I'm still very new to them so um, that explains why that didn't happen yet I guess um, because I feel like the other three have like such distinct things about them um, like they all have so different voices and Dara has also a different voice, but she's like the most normal voice, if that makes sense from the four, in my opinion. That's why um, I didn't notice her that much. I did, but I didn't notice her that much in the music video so far. To be fair to myself here, Dara also didn't have as much screen time in the music videos that I've watched. So um, it's not much I could, t I could talk about, because just by hearing the voices, I actually can't tell members apart that much, uh, other than maybe Bomb. Um, so I wouldn't have known if it was Dara's part because we didn't really see her in the videos that much. But yeah, again, I really like her voice uh, now that I realized that from the live stage. It's crazy. She's also, I feel like, much better live than she's on recording, which is always a very fantastic thing, to be honest. So let's keep going with Bomb. She's also better live than uh, Studio. Oh. It hurts, it hurts, Apa. Yeah, Apa is it hurts, right? Or just Apa itself is, I guess, hurting. But I would assume that she just said it hurts. Let's go back to Minji here. Min okay, let's call her Minji again. No, let's not make it the habit. <laughs> let's go, Minji. Oh my god. Okay, I'm sorry, but. I'm sorry, but it's more and more clear to me that Mizzy's voice is actually my favorite voice in 21. Wow, man, I just love it. Whenever I hear it, I'm like so, oh, this is great, you know. This is like how I feel about Wien and Mamamoo, honestly. Raza is my bias, and I freaking love Raza. This goes for CL here in 21. But when I hear Minzy or Wian respectively, I just am like, oh my god, I'm melting, you know? I think that's a good description. I'm just melting with their voices. And I'm like instantly questioning my bias choice. <laughs> both in both cases, honestly. Oh, oh wow. It's very clean vocal here from Dara. Is it Dara? No, it's CL. Yeah. I was actually thinking it might have been CL, my bad. But we saw Dara on screen, so again, confused. Here. Yeah, it makes sense because CL's voice is very clean. I was like, oh wow, this is so clean for Dara, but it was just CL. Oh! Bomb high notes? Mm. Sorry for pausing so much uh, right now, but um, we see a lot of Dara scenes in the video. And it feels like she's the main character of the story, whatever it is about. But it seems like it's a story about someone that is very alone. Maybe it, it almost reminds a bit of something like Rapunzel, where she's like hidden, or like not hidden, but imprisoned in the tower and she can't leave. And she like has to grow out her hair because she literally can't leave to get a haircut or something. And it seems like this is the case here for Dora. I'm pretty sure that's not her real hair, it's somewhat extensions. Sorry for the person who got actually cut off this hair because this is fabulous hair. Um, if it's actually her real hair, then God bless her hair. I don't know how she did that, but anyways, um, she feels very alone. It also seems like she's, is this part of her dress or is she actually like tied to the chair here? Like is she cuffed to the chair? Oh no, okay, we can see it here as well. She has it just on her wrists. Um, it still looks like handcuffs of some sort, so it's kind of weird. It's a styling choice, but then again, the style choice for all of them is kind of weird. <laughs> like, 
that umbrella kind of thing that Bomb has is kind of weird. Then the hat that Minzy has on, and then the hairstyles of every single one of them, basically, and then also of course CL's outfit. It's very abstract. So I really, I really love the bomb outfit though. Okay. Stop pausing. Oh, now, now she said, wait, now she said Apayo, so that's probably, it hurts. Or you hurt me? Oh, because yo is usually you, right? God damn it, let's go back five seconds and focus on the song now. Oh, yeah. She's so cute here. She says she's so young. Oh. Minzy really reminds me of Swervy here, her hairstyle. If you know Swervy. Oh. Oh, Minji can read. Nope. I can't tell. This could have been Dara. So it seems like the guy was actually in the story here in the video. Uh, he was just absent for a long, long time, and now he's finally came back. And she's like running to him and then like being happy that he's back. But probably the it hurts part is about how he's like gone for so long. No. I I love how I love how Dara is lip syncing the lyrics that are probably very accurate for the situation that the characters in the, in that situation as well. So I really like how they sync that up really well. And uh, oh man, this is hard to see. Her cry. She's a good actress, though. Wow. Oh, the candle went out. Okay, Bob. Tell him. <sighs> oh, the piano in the background. Again. Not again, Dara. Did she leave again or what? Why did she leave again? Or, or like, is he dead maybe and she's like invincible or something? So she literally is bound to be alone? I don't know. Could be because it's such an abstract story and setting that uh, I could definitely reimagine everything uh, possible. So I don't know what that exactly is it about. Um, so do let me know in the comments if you know. And yeah, that was my reaction to 21 It Hurts. Thank you again to Kettle Demand for this Patreon sponsored video. And at this moment, I will also want to say happy birthday to you. I hope you had a wonderful day so far. I don't know what time it is right now when you're watching this. Maybe it's not even your birthday when you watch this because I'm sure you have other things to do. Um, but if not, then I hope this brightens up your day a little bit. And um, I hope you have a wonderful day if it's still ahead of you, the birthday, or like at least some time of it. And yeah, I hope you had a nice time with family, with friends, you got a good presence and I hope you stay um, healthy in the future and yeah, enjoy your life. So thanks so much for your support in general and thank you so much for requesting this. Have a wonderful day. And yeah, now let's talk a bit about the song before we finish this video. I wanna uh, say that this was a very vocal heavy song. Um, Although I have to say that a lot of 2NE1 songs are actually vocal heavy and I'm actually quite happy about that because I definitely need more vocal heavy groups in my life um, other than maybe Mamamoo, Brown Eyed Girls and I guess maybe G-Friend, maybe Dreamcatcher. Uh, yeah, there's a few girl groups that I am bound to check out in a future like speaker for example where i definitely feel like there's also vocal heavy uh, things awaiting me because i uh, know kimbo which uh, are two members of speaker and they're like insane vocals anyways talking about 21 this was a great song 
Um, I really liked all of them to be honest. I am not sure how much Dara was singing in the song and which parts, honestly, because again, while she was singing, if she was singing anything, um, other than at the beginning, she was not actually lip syncing or like not really shown on screen lip syncing to the song. Um, other than that one part where she was uh, like hugging that guy in the story and she was actually lip syncing the lyrics that were sung at the moment. But I'm not sure if that was actually Dara singing though. Uh, other than that, I would value that this was probably, and I actually said that last time too when I reacted to 21, but this was probably my favorite Park Bomb song or like the favorite 21 song for Park Bomb's vocals. This was actually incredibly well done from her. Um, I feel like she didn't win, uh, didn't go all out with her like power vocal, but still this was like from a tone and from a consistency basis, absolutely amazing, and in my opinion the best performance I've heard so far from her, and uh, really happy to to have witnessed that basically, and happy that I've watched this video. As for CL, um, I feel like she she did well, and she had some great vocals. Don't get me wrong especially starting off the song, but this was not her best vocal performance, I would say, like, not because she did badly or anything, but she just didn't have as many lines, I felt like. The song was mostly bomb, and I guess the others just chimed in a lot. I felt like this was mainly bomb, the song, though. Uh, I don't know the line distribution for the song, so you can let me know that in the comments as well, if you want to. Um, but yeah, I really, really liked Minji's Yes, Minji's voice, because she killed that in the beginning. Um, I felt like she was not, other than once or twice for like one or two lines, not really coming back onto the song later on. So I felt like um, she had that one slightly longer part at the beginning stage of the song, and then after that, not really that much more. She maybe had like a few ad libs or background vocals that I didn't guess it was hers. But yeah, other than that, um, they all killed it, to be honest. I can't say much about Dara, but. I, I liked everything that I heard in the song, so if Dara had more parts that I didn't notice about, I also liked them, I just didn't know it was her, you know? So you can point out where she was singing maybe if you also want to. So I have a lot of tasks for you in the comments. Thank you if you helped me by any of them. You don't have to, but it's obviously helpful and I want to learn more about them and their songs. So that's it from this reaction video. Again, I hope you enjoyed this and especially to you, of course, Kel Dorman. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you have a wonderful day or had one if you watch this after your birthday. That's it for me. See you back in the next reaction video on YouTube or on Patreon if you're interested in watching my videos on there. Again, I have reacted to 21 recently there if you're interested in that. That's it for me. Have a nice day. Peace.